Inside this research lab, they're testing some of the trendiest health drinks in Canada. Almost 800 tubes delivered by health officials containing samples of kombucha, collected from grocery stores and farmers markets in BC. Their mission? To find out how much alcohol is in each one. Because they're not supposed to have more than a certain amount of alcohol in them. Uh, the limit in Canada is 1%. Alcohol is a natural byproduct of the fermented tea, which has been growing in popularity amongst Canadians. More brewers are popping up across the country. Some like the taste, while others believe it has probiotic benefits. It's sold, though, as a non-alcoholic beverage. Yes, here we have a fermenting kombucha. Brewing the stuff isn't pretty, and it's not always predictable. Its live ingredients can continue fermenting if it's not refrigerated properly and that elevates alcohol levels. If they leave the, the bottle outside for a day or for two days, it can start fermenting and can increase the alcohol level, so people should be careful and keep refrigerated at all times. If there are uh, trace amounts of alcohol, uh, even low levels, I think it's important that those labels also be on the bottles for the... BC Health officials are so concerned, they're now the first in Canada to formally research it. Low levels of alcohol can be a concern in women who are pregnant and, and are seeking to avoid alcohol to protect their babies and the baby's development uh, for small children. In the U.S., more than a quarter of the kombucha tested was above the legal threshold, some even as high as 7%. That's more than your average beer. But here in BC, we haven't seen the same results yet. The message isn't that kombucha isn't safe, it's just that some kombucha has elevated ethanol levels, and that could be a public safety concern. The results of the BC tests are expected this month, which could explain what kind of punch this drink could have. Tina Lovegreen, CBC News, Burnaby.